Hello and welcome. I'm Xam and today we're going to talk about the basics of Luna Magic. With um, page up and page down you can uh, skip one level. Um, but you can also click on this tab here and then you can enter a level number. For example, 100. 100 is the bonus level. I think zero is the bonus level too. Okay, weird. Um, but usually the Luna Magic start with 105 because it's the first uh, Super Mario World level. Okay, um, with this one here, if you change something, you can click this uh, disc here. It's for saving the level. And then you have these three icons here. First a normal ground, then a cave ground, and then a Cooper shell. When you click the, the normal ground, you can basically drag and move any object in the on the map. For example, this, this bush here, but you can't drag the enemies or the Mario himself. But if you click now the shell, you can see that you now can drag the sprite around, but not the blocks. So basically you can choose between the floor and the sprite to move things and to place things. The middle one is layer 2. Um, that's not so interesting right now. I'm going to talk about it in another video. But for now, these two are the only important things. When you press F1, you can see um, like screen marks. These marks are like for showing where the screen is. <clears throat> if you now press Control Delete, the program is going to ask you if you want to delete everything in the level. We're going to press OK and save. Now that's a completely empty level. If you open this block here, add objects, the normal turn block, you will have a new screen. Um, with this icon here, with the binocular glasses, you can press on it and make the screen, the window a little bit bigger or smaller as you wish. I will keep it at 200% for now. In this window you basically have every object like every floor and uh, placeable block inside for example we want to have a floor white scale ground ledge we can um, choose it with left click and now we can press anywhere right click on the screen and with holding left click you can drag it around we put it right under Mario and we can save it. With, uh, if you saw my getting started video with Control F4, you can test the level. And as you can see, uh, that's the first screen basically. Okay, so what are these lines here? As I said, that's the screen basically. And um, when you tried it out, you can't move further away from the screen. And when you left click on the latch and go to the edge of the latch, there will be like two arrows uh, going in different directions. You can hold it with left click and then move it around to make it longer the, uh, the floor or make it shorter. If we do make it shorter now and we save and we play again, you can see that it's cut off and you can fall down. So basically these lines are representing how far the screen goes. If I drag it like one tile above the, the, uh, the line and save it, there will be a whole block which is empty till the next screen. If we open our editor again, um, there will be a lot more. For example, this solid right top right facing bottom ledge. 
uh, we can place it again with left clicking here and right clicking here. The last block that you chosen with left click, you can right click somewhere and place it. But you can also just left click on a block already existing and then right click somewhere. That basically means you just copied it. If you want to have a, a wine going up a little bit, you can make it shorter or longer, whatever I want. And now I want some coins. You can drag them here a little bit. And now I save it. Um, I'm still in this menu. This menu is still open and I have chosen the walkthrough dirt, but I can left click on the vine and then right click and the walkthrough dirt wouldn't appear. <clears throat> but the wine would appear because that's the last one I picked with my left click. With delete you can delete something basically. Now you can see there is an all object piece like uh, written and there is direct map 16. So this is actually for every SNW hacker the most important uh, screen when it comes to placing blocks because here you have like if you see this low this uh, this floor is like the grass and then the dirt tile it's like one big tile but in this screen you can go on the second page and the third page actually only the first two and then you can do your in individual um, floor basically you can place it here can choose from here and then right click make it as long as you want and then you can take the dirt wall and place it and now this isn't connected anymore but it's like uh, separate as you can see there are a lot of uh, different blocks for example all of these here oh by the way you can like copy multiple like with holding left click and then right click you just drag the whole piece like six of them at once um, but I went wh what I meant is actually if there are like so many and you don't know what what is you can just hover over it and there will be a little text box for example a turn block with a star inside you can just place it and then control F4 test it out and there will be a star inside. Um, and there are like many, many blocks. And these are only the first two pages. As you can see, there are a lot more. Oh, why are there so many? You ask yourself. Well, these whole pages are for custom blocks, actually. Custom blocks and uh, custom graphics and much, much more. I will talk about this in another video. Okay, that's it for now with the blocks. Now we can come to the sprite. Don't forget to choose your sprite editing mode, the shell, and click on the blue Yoshi. In this screen, you can make it a little bit bigger. It's like the exactly same screen as before with the blocks, but now instead of blocks you have spr like sprites. For example, the green Koopa, no shell, you can place. And then the red Cooper, and you can scroll all the way down. If you have like uh, glitched graphics, don't worry, that's okay. You can just click on the cloud here, smiling cloud, and they will disappear. You have all kinds of uh, sprites. Carrot top lift. Let's take this one here. And the Rex. Let's say green shell. And now let's say we want a lot of green shells. Don't forget you can copy a lot of sprites or a lot of blocks at once and then just right click again. Um, I've chosen the floor again, the blocks again. 
I will do this floor a little bit wider. And put this here. Okay. Now if we play the game, there will be a shell which we can pick up and the carrot car car lift. And the Rex. And maybe like three shells. But how come there are only three shells? That's the thing from uh, Super Nintendo and Super Mario World. It's really hard to show sprites on the screen. So you have a maximum, I think, of. Um, four or five sprites on the screen otherwise the game is going to lag or not even spawning the sprite basically so be careful with with uh, spamming sprites and down in all sprites you can see like labels these are actually commands which are not sprites but they get uh, treated as sprite for example let's say I want a slow auto scroll level. I can put this slow auto scroll level somewhere on the screen. And for this one, I Y position changes speed. Y position, this is the X position, and this is the Y position. So if I drag the slow auto scroll down or up, it will say something different. On this Y position it will say fast auto scroll and on this position it will say slow and then medium too and fast. We can try it slow first of all and as you can see the I'm not moving right now the screen is moving automatically. If we try now the fast auto scroll you will see that it's going a little bit faster, but it even gets faster and faster the longer it runs. Okay, with the information you can start your first level. It's really easy to make and I'm going to show you how a small section of, let's say, four screens is going to look like. <laughs> Okay, this is what I came up with. It's a really simple level, nothing special. Just to show off what you can do with these informations now. That's it, thank you for watching and if you like the video and have ideas for more videos, let me know in the comments, thanks.